So welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are excited. Today we're going to be getting ready and creating this look that you see here. And basically it was inspired because Makeup Revolution sent me PR, which by the way, thank you so much Makeup Revolution. And they sent me their Coca-Cola collection and they came out a while back ago. And I was like, you know what? I've never played around with like shimmery shades and creating just like one look out of just only using shimmery shades. So today we're going to be doing that today, girl. We're going to be testing everything out, getting ready. And I hope you guys are excited because I I totally am let me show you everything that they sent me because they sent me like their two eyeshadow palettes their glosses their highlighter even their mascara girl so I hope you guys enjoy today's video everything of course will be linked down below in the description box please don't forget to like share and subscribe and as always let's go ahead and jump on in and get ready for a day so for today's video I've already applied on my skincare so that is why my skin looks a little a little glossy a little moisturized <laughs> and I applied on my favorite lip balm from wiki Lux. so in case you're interested I'll have everything linked down below in order and we're gonna start off with foundation and the foundation I'm gonna use again for it today is gonna be the Fenty Beauty this is the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation this is in the shade 230 I absolutely love it you guys it has such a nice finish it really does cover and I love the undertone so I'm just gonna apply on two pumps of foundation i'm gonna go ahead and start in the top of my cheekbones because that is where i need the most coverage <laughs> and then i'm gonna apply the rest throughout my face for concealer i'm gonna go in with the derma blend cover care full coverage concealer and this is shade 15 neutral and i literally need to finish up this concealer because i feel like i've had it for such a long time you guys and i'm one of those people that i just keep using stuff until i run out because you know, things are really expensive and I remember a time when, you know, I couldn't afford it and I don't know, I'd just rather finish it up, you know what I mean? So then I'm just gonna apply it on my chin, upper lip, down the ridge of the nose and forehead. And then I'm gonna go in with my sponge as well, my beauty blender, and then to blend everything out. And now to set everything into place, we're gonna go in with my all-time favorite NYX HD Finishing Banana Powder. You guys, I've always hit pan. I use this literally every single day. I feel like other banana powders I've tried, but they're too yellow in the undertone, and I don't know, I just always run back to this one. It always gives me that brightness and flawless finish. So I'm gonna go in with my BH Cosmetics brush, and I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of powder and I'm just gonna only apply this where I've applied on concealer and it just gives such a beautiful finish like I just love it you guys if you haven't tried it I highly suggest it just because it's just so good and it's super affordable now for a foundation powder I'm actually gonna go in with the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour fresh wear powder foundation this is the shade 140 golden beige I don't know I've been trying to find my correct shade and I feel like this might work for me but I also feel like it has a weird pinky undertone. I don't know, it's been kind of like a hit and miss. Like the one I really liked just kind of gave me a weird great cast, but it controlled the oils in my skin really nicely. So that's why I always run back to it. If anything, I'd probably wear this like in my T-zone area since I do have combination oily skin and wear like another powder foundation on the outer edges around my face if that's something I really want to do. But I think I'm going to try this one just because I did pick it up. I swatched it a few times, but I never, I don't remember like really testing it out. So I'm just going to go in with my BK Beauty this is the 105 I think it's like a powder brush this is basically what I like to use it for and I'm just gonna go in and pick up powder and I'm just gonna mainly focus it on the top of my cheekbones because that's obviously where I need a little bit more coverage and then apply it throughout my face so far I really like the undertone to this powder foundation it looks really nice I feel like this is my shade and I love the coverage that it's giving and it looks really nice and lightweight. So we're gonna move on to bronze. And I love to bronze, you guys. One of my favorite bronzers that I just keep running back to, I try to kind of like rotate the bronzers that I have so I can kind of use them all, so I can kind of stay in the know and remember and use the products that I have in my collection. And the one that I have been running to every single time is the LA Girl Matte Bronzer. Like the top of the packaging got really ugly and then I broke it. <laughs> but this, I just love it, you guys. Obviously it has a contour shade and a bronzing shade, but I like to kind of mix them both. And I just love how it looks on my skin. I pick up a little bit of product and as always, I'm just gonna go ahead and bronze all around my forehead, cheekbone area, and jawline. So after I finished bronzing up my face, I went in and drew my brows and I actually went in with the LA Girl Brow Bestie Girl. This is my all-time favorite brow pencil. I love how affordable it is. I love the undertone, it holds its pigmentation 
you can literally find this like at Target, Ulta, $6.99. The shade that I picked up is in Deep Brown. I just kind of, it was like the only shade. So I was like, you know what, let me try it. It might work. So we'll see when I'm ending this video if I like the undertone. Hopefully they don't look too dark. <laughs> and as for the eyeshadow primer, I went in with the Thrive Cosmetics. And this is the I Love 360 Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I really like this. So I figured we'd apply it on before we apply on our eyeshadow. And for our base shade, because I always like to apply on some Thing all around the lid. I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics blending brush. I'm going to go into the Elimon Beauty True Blend palette and I'm going to go into cream, this really pretty shade. It's kind of like cream, kind of off-white, and I'm just going to apply it throughout my lid. And for today's look, I really want to create something colorful and sultry all at the same time. So I'm going to go in with the into the large Coca-Cola palette and if you guys love shimmery colorful shades i think you'll end up really liking this one my two favorites so far that i've swatched it is star and meteorite they just look so beautiful you guys it's really nice so i'm really excited to try them out i'm gonna go in really quickly with their blending brush and i'm gonna dip into bubbles and i'm just gonna see how it looks on and i'm gonna apply it in the corner tear duct of the eye doing like circular motions and building the pigmentation and so far bubbles was beautiful you guys it blended really nicely it looks nice and shimmery it doesn't feel like thick and, and like grimy on the lids like sometimes shimmers can be a little too thick <laughs> and so far i really like it i love the undertone it's really subtle but has a little slight pop of color which i really like i'm gonna go in into sphere this really beautiful like lime green and i'm just gonna go in with a blending brush the one that i was using earlier and and I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on the lid, just in this little corner area. And look how beautiful that is, you guys. It's so pigmented, absolutely love it so far. I'm gonna go in with a blending brush and I'm gonna go into Comet, this really beautiful, like peachy, orangey shadow shade. And I'm just gonna apply it on the crease of the lid, doing V motions, blending them all in. I don't know, something about this shade, you guys, it's just so pretty. I just really wanted to create a look with it. So now I really want to apply on like a shimmery shade. And I think I'm going to go in to Star, this really beautiful shade. Like it looks like one color and then you apply it on, it looks like another. I don't know how to describe it. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to use my finger and apply it on the center of the lid. And with a small little detailed brush like this one, I'm going to Meteorite. I just kind of want to smoke out the lash line just to give it a little bit of warmth and depth because it's just such a pretty shade as well. I just want to use all of the colors that I end up really liking from this collection, basically. To smoke out the bottom lash line, because you guys know here my channel, girl, I love to smoke it out. I'm going to go in with a little shading brush like this one. I'm going to Meteorite. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on the lower lash line just slightly. And then back with the blending brush we were using earlier for sapphire. I'm going to pick up a little bit of sapphire. And then very carefully, <laughs> I'm going to blend it out on the bottom lash. I think I really want a little bit more pop on the corner tear ducts of the eyes. So I'm going to go into Sparkling from the little mini palette, which by the way, they run for about $10. I'll have everything linked down below again in case you're interested. And I'm just going to go and apply it in the corner tear deck of the eye very, very lightly. I finished on my eyes off camera because basically all I did was like apply on dark eyeshadow and inner lining of my eye. And then I curled my lashes and applied mascara. So now we're going to go in and apply on blush next. And let me tell you guys, I picked the most beautiful blush. And I feel like it's going to go with this look really nicely. And this is the Milani blush. And this is in the shade 120 Sunrise Senorita. It is so beautiful, you guys. Like, let me show you. I feel like it's going to look so nice on. So I'm going to go in, pick up a little bit of this blush, and then just apply it on the top of my cheekbones. And what do you guys think of the blush? I just feel like it just goes. It just goes. <laughs> I hope it's so far. It's looking and tying in together really nicely. I'm not gonna lie, I did have to apply on a good amount of blush just because I feel like I wasn't seeing much pigment, but I really love the finish and I think it looks really, really nice. So now we're gonna move on to our lip. They sent us three different glosses to pick from. Oh my god, I love the packaging and I love a good gloss. I think we're gonna go with the little peachy looking one just because I feel like that is kind of like the color theme we're going with for today. But before we go in, I'm going to go in with my current favorite lip combo that I'm not lying to you guys. I've been wearing this every single day for like a month. 
Soap. And I absolutely love it. This is a Too Faced. Um, this is in the shade Buttercream. And then I think this is like from the Cocoa Bold collection. I absolutely love it. So I'm just going to apply it throughout my lips. And for lip liner, I'm going to go in with the Buxom Lip Liner. And this is in the shade High Def Honey. So pretty, you guys. It's a beautiful warm brown. And I'm just going to lightly shade my lips in. Now to tie everything together, we're going to go in with our gloss. And this is in shade Atmospheric. I think that's how you pronounce it. And I'm just going to go in and add a little glossy moment. And look at you guys. How glossy <laughs> is that? That is so, so pretty. And so far it feels really nice and moisturizing. It doesn't feel sticky. It feels like really nice without feeling heavy. So, so far I really love it. Perfect for those no makeup makeup look days or anytime that you wanna add a little gloss to your lip combo. So last but not least, we're gonna go in and apply on a little highlighter because they also sent us a highlighter, which by the way, they also sent us the mascara, but you guys know here on my channel, girl, I'm a little hesitant when it comes to mascaras because most mascaras don't work for my eyelashes. I don't know what it is, but they just don't work for me. So I'll test that behind the scenes. I'll keep you guys posted. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. As for the highlighter, you guys, look at the packaging. It is super, super cute. I really like it. And the pan size is a large and in charge. This will last you such a long time. And look at that. Super, super pretty. Love these shades. So we're going to go ahead and try it out. And so far, there's a little fallout. I'm not even going to lie. We're just going to apply it on the edge of my nose because that's typically where I apply on highlighter on the chin area and upper lip. And so far, I really like it. It's subtle very natural without looking beaming and like too bright, which I really like. Something subtle, very natural, that adds a little glow to the skin in a really pretty way. All right, guys, this is basically it. We have finished getting ready for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. I had so much fun trying out everything out that they sent us. Basically everything, obviously, we didn't try out the mascara, but I'll give you guys posted on how, how I end up liking it. I just didn't want to ruin a look. You know what I mean? I start all over. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. Everything will be linked down below. So far, I really loved everything from the highlighter. It was really natural and subtle. I love the size. The glosses are really nice and moisturizing. The eyeshadows were beautiful. I really love them. Very subtle, really easy to blend, really easy to apply on. And so far, I really love the look that I created for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much, Makeup Revolution, for sending me PR. And as always, you guys, I love you also so much have a beautiful day and i will see you all in my next video bye